Hey there, everybody. Thanks for checking out my review of the Koei AP1512HH Mighty Air Purifier. Make sure if you like this review to please hit that like button. So I got this air purifier in result to the bad fires that we have out here in California. We have a lot of days where it's really smoky and there's a lot of pollutants in the air. And I find that overall this air purifier does a pretty good job. It's not the best looking air purifier in my opinion, uh, but it was really one of the higher rated ones, which is why I got it. It's also not too big. I don't find it to be distracting or in the way. You'll see that the width of it is a little bit bigger than you might initially think. However, if you just tuck it up against the wall or something, it, it, it's really not that imposing in size. It's, it's, it can be fairly easily tucked away. I'll take it apart in a second, but you'll see that there are three parts to the filtration system. The air comes in through here as well as the sides, and it has a washable pre-filter, then an odor filter, and then the true HEPA filter. The air purifier is pretty easy to use. I'll first go and show you the inside of it and then we'll go into the mechanics up here and how all the buttons work. It's pretty easy to use, a little easier with both hands, but basically you just pull forward on this part, it comes out, and this is where you get to the first washable pre-filter. Now, I just vacuumed and washed this. After this video, I'll run it for a week and we'll see how much pollutants it, it grabs. There are two prongs here and here that you pull down on to get the filter out. This is the odor filter. Now, again, I've had this for about a year. I haven't replaced the filters. You'll see that this definitely has some wear. This is the original side. This is the other side. So it has collected some sort of dust and other pollutants in it. And then in the back, you have the HEPA filter. The HEPA filter still seems like it's in pretty good condition. If you look at it, it's pretty clear. It doesn't have too many pollutants in it. It still seems like it's had some life. And again, this has been for one year where I have not had to replace the filters yet. So putting it back together is fairly simple. You just take that out, put this in here, and sometimes I'll vacuum this one as well a little bit. And then of course, we put this filter back in here and it just clicks into place. And then lastly, this just goes into there and it clicks into place. Just quickly to mention, I, I, the pre-screen filter, it collects a good amount of dust, other small debris, hairs, and other particles. With the odor filter, I'm not too impressed with that. If you have some sort of odor in the room or whether it's something that's smoky, while it does seem to remove the actual smoke or whatever other thing is floating around, the smell is not diminished that much. You could light a match near it, it takes in some of it, or you have some other sort of foul odor near the machine or in the room, and it will definitely increase in level of the amount of filtration that's needed. This will probably turn red, this will go up to level three, but the smell is, it's, it still doesn't really go away. So that's something on this device to be aware of. If you really want to decrease the smell of something, I don't know if this is the best one. So let me go ahead and plug in the device and show you some of the features. That tells you it's on when it makes that noise. Basically you have the power button and then we have three speeds. Mine was last on speed setting three. You can have eco, auto, one, two as well. The auto mode means that it will 
fluctuate based on the pollutants that it tests in the air at that time from one, two, or three. Right now the air is pure, so we have a blue icon. It is only at one. The air purifier will detect pollutants and change to the appropriate level based on how much it is detecting in the air. This will fluctuate to purple for medium and then red for higher pollutants. One is blue, two is for purple medium pollutants, and then three is red. The way that the device does this is through this system on the right side where it takes in the dust or the pollutants, determines that it needs to increase the amount, and goes from there. This area you'll have to occasionally clean actually, opening it up, vacuuming around there. You want to make sure that it's unobstructed so that it's able to accurately give a description to the device internally what level of purification is needed. Now if you leave it on auto mode it will again automatically adjust to the desired setting. You can leave it on one which is fairly quiet actually. You can barely hear it. If you switch it to two and I'm just a few feet away from the purifier it's still not that loud. You can't really hear it. If you switch it to three, it is audible. This is something, it's not quiet. It's, you're trying to go to bed. It's, it can be annoying. If you go to eco mode, it will shut off after around 30 minutes of not detecting any pollutants, but it's still running in the background and will go back on if it detects any pollutants. And again, that is gonna be from this part on the side. Now, you can see that the device just turned to purple. It's probably because some, some dust in the air, but it is still on one because I just manually set it there. If I put it onto eco or auto, you will see that it will increase to a higher speed which is now actually on level two. It's a bit hard to hear, but it is filtering based on the second level of filtration process. One of the annoyances I think a little bit is that it can be fairly sensitive, turning from purple to red back to blue again. If I leave it on eco or if I leave it on auto during the night, well, I'm happy that it's detecting pollutants. At times it can get loud and then go off again to the lower setting at blue that's not audible, only for seconds later for it to increase to red immediately, then back down. And it can be a little disrupting the noise, especially with it being so inconsistent. I think that just has to do with the dust or something else that's hitting it at that time. So I often like to just keep it at one or two so it doesn't fluctuate up and down. Now to give you an example of it actually automatically fluctuating, I have a shirt here, has some dust on it. Let me shake it out near the area where it detects the filtration uh, that's needed to increase in speed and we'll see what happens. Sometimes it takes a few seconds to work I've noticed you'll see how it in just increased to purple and corresponding it went up to level two for the air purification because it's detecting the pollutants. If I shake it out maybe a little bit more we'll see if it increases to red. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I know that's kind of an extreme example, shaking the dust in front of it, but it also comes into other factors of other particles in the air. It's not always just dust. But this is a good example of how it will automatically increase. It's obviously not increasing to the third level because it's not detecting the appropriate level of pollutions to justify level three. I do notice that if I cook with spices or something that's smoky, sometimes it will activate the filter, 
from a distance. I'll be here and my, I'll be in the other room with my kit in the kitchen. It will detect the the smoke or the spices or, or whatnot and it will actually increase the filtration. Continuing on with the buttons, we have the ionizer here. I don't use that. The timer, if you want it to shut off after one, four, or eight hours. And then again, this is for the HEPA and the odor filter it will tell you when it needs replacement. Obviously the first screen does not need replacement. All you have to do is wash it out or vacuum it. Had this for about a year. I still have not had to press the filter reset, which tells me that it's uh, doing fairly well. Things that you'll notice about the filter right here is these little sticky marks. Now, the reason that is there is because I put this on there, this little piece of tape. Another frustration I have on top of it, sometimes inconsistently fluctuating in speeds, is that this bright light, although you can't really tell, is extremely bright, especially at night. When you're trying to sleep, this will illuminate the room faintly and it's a bit distracting. So to avoid that, I just place this piece of tape over it. There should be an option to turn that light off. I heard that a year ago they were planning on releasing a new model where you would be able to get rid of that light. I just checked an Amazon review and somebody wrote a few months ago that they received the old model. It doesn't appear that they have changed that feature or changed anything in the, in the system, but uh, definitely check that out on Amazon. Maybe that's something they'll be coming out with soon. Other, uh, other than that, uh, the reason I did get this filter was due to the pretty consistent reviews on Amazon. It seems like people tend to like this air filter. I would say that my experience with it is fairly positive. I'd probably give it about a B plus, A minus range. A couple of those frustrations, it's still, there's a lot of dust floating around. It doesn't get rid of everything. But when I do clean out that filter, the first pre-screen filter, I think, oh wow, okay, there, there's a good amount of dust on there. So again, the next test that I'm gonna do is in the next scene, will be one week from today where I will keep this filter running consistently throughout the day and night and we will see what we get. Okay, so following up here, it's actually been 10 days that I've left this plugged in. It's been on auto mode the entire time. I haven't touched it. Let's see how much dust it's collected and other debris. You can see that in here, there's some dust. Oftentimes you'll have to take a cloth or just rinse this part out. If we take this off, you can see that there's a good amount of dust on here. I already took the filter out, which is why it's coming out so easily. There's a good amount of dust it's collected. That is 10 days worth of running this completely on auto, dust and other debris. Of course, it's gone through the other levels of filtration the odor filter and then the HEPA filter as well, but this is where you can really see what it's done. This part I just take a vacuum to or I clean it out in the bathtub and then let it air dry. So yeah, overall great air filter. I would give it a shot if you have smoke or dust problems or dust mites or other things that are floating around, it does a really good job. Uh, just a couple little annoyances that I already talked about, but it's really not that big of a deal. I would recommend this. I think you won't go wrong. I'll leave a link to where you can purchase it in the description below. Thank you.